hello and uh, welcome to this topic comprehensions and in this we will see another form of loops so you have seen the loops in the previous topic and in this topic we will see similar to the loops in the form of comprehensions so it can be like array array comprehension or dictionary based comprehension the set based comprehension but these are like smart loops again it's sort of a for loop but written in a efficient way so the first one I have is a very simple for loop like we have seen it earlier simply printing the values which is here x equals to within the brackets i for i in one step that means print the basically give return the value of i by looping through i in 1 to 10 that's how you should read it so once i execute it what it gives me the output of 1 to 10 right as simple as that now not only this that you can print the value which is like very basic operation probably uh really you use it but very much required when you are working with the real files just to display the values of a list or column name so on and so forth so x equals to so here I'm going to show you how you can perform mathematical operation for every value that i is returning. Let's say whatever value i is returning. So i multiply with 2 for i in 1 to 10. Simply we are saying that whatever value i is returning by going into 1 to 10 multiply it by 2. So shift enter 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Very straightforward right whatever this value was we were getting the output similarly what you can do nothing very fancy but I'm uh, repeating the same thing I keep cap 2 which is making a square by 2 and for I in 1 to 10 and then multiplying it right so 2 2 4 3 3 9 6 4 is to 4 16 uh, 25 so on and so forth right okay so once we are done with this let's see some of the operations that we can do on the different sort of uh, types that we have seen for example the set and uh, dictionaries and all so if you want to generate a set what we can do is s equals to set right this is how we do this and within the brackets we can write i for i in 1 is to 10 so that means generate a set of 1 is to 10 print enter or shift enter sorry and that's a set again an unordered set of values that is being returned to you in the form of a set similarly if you have a need where you need to create the the dictionary so what we will going to do over here is uh, re generate a dictionary of alphabets with their respective values so bit tricky but just bear with me for and we i will explain you as i'm writing alphabet alphabet equals to dictionary d-i-c-t and uh, we want string um string as a output like the a b c d e all of that thing in a proper string format so what i'm using is the string if you remember i covered it earlier so string within that care character so because character is what we will usually get x plus 64 because in sky character set the value of alphabet starts with the uh, 65 if i am not wrong yeah um, then you have the notation for the so that's basically this entire thing is nothing but the i in this case right so then we are saying x for x it's basically a key i'm sorry about that that's basically a key x for x now here we are starting to iterate through the character set x for x in 1 is to 26 because we have 26 character a to z is nothing but 26 character so what it is doing it is these are the values one two three four five six and all all so on and so forth 
and here is the character so once it will come 1 plus 64 which is 65 is 1 which is a equals to 1 and then it will be 2 so 66 that means b equals to 2 and then we are converting it into a string so from character we are converting it to a string that's it if i press shift enter so k we need to be an iterator of tuples or pair so let me evaluate whether what is x if we have anything x is nothing but the array let me try with something x1 i don't think we have defined x1 nope it's not defined so x1 for x in x1 and then execute let me try to execute it and one more issue which i see is over here i have not closed the string okay so character is closed here string is closed here dictionary is closed here yep and let me write this okay that's what we have got z is 26 the last character and where is a a is 1 and then you can verify rest of the others but this is something we have just created a dynamic dictionary with the help of this comprehension the dictionary comprehension in this case now let's go ahead and uh, show you a little bit extended form where i have the two different variables as part of let's say a tuple so x comma y is something what you have or you want to create uh, an array within the array you have uh, you want to create a tuple so x comma y for x in 1 is to 3 so that's the operation for x 1 is to 3 and then comma y in 1 is to 2 right so it can be tuple it can be array within an array like a two dimensional array right now i'm creating a two dimensional tuple which i have explained earlier in a form of a manual way so if i execute it what you get is array and within that you have a tuple of two integers so one 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 two then two one two two three one and three two so this way you can generate the the tuple array or uh, in a way a dictionary as well if if that's what we require in the runtime to generate a data set now last but not the least is the conditional comprehensions so getting the output based on some sort of a condition not like a simple for loop so what we will do is we will repeat our example to identify the even values so what we what we will do is open the bracket x for x in 1 is to 10 and then write the condition to identify even value if x percentage 2 equals to equals to 0 so it's similar to the for loop or the while loop that we wrote earlier but as you can see in just one line you can write this i know initially it will be a bit difficult but once you have got a hand on it then no issues so if i execute it you will get the even values right now as the previous task practice it with e, uh, odd value as well as prime numbers and you will be all set with your uh, with your list, this comprehension so that's about it um, that's about uh, all the comprehensions i wanted to discuss like any other topic in julia this is a broad topic and you can get expertise on this particular topic itself just to be an efficient with the uh, with the comprehensions so stay tuned for more topics and uh, i will meet you in the next topic